Scientists at the University of Tsukuba have dubbed it HAL for hybrid assistive limb. They've been working on it for several years. HAL is an exoskeleton or an external skeleton which not only protects its wearer but gives him or her tenfold strength during specific action. It's hoped it'll change the lives of people with degenerative muscle disease or accident victims who would otherwise need long and painful therapy to regain basic mobility. This patient has been tetraplegic since a car crash 12 years ago. Just after the accident, I was completely paralyzed. I did conventional rehabilitation therapy in hospital and made some progress, but my left side was not moving at all. Last August, Masahiro discovered Hal and started walking with the help of the robot. He still has trouble walking, but his progress has been spectacular. Today, there's hardly any difference between his left and right side. He says there's only one way of getting through the hour-long sessions. Willpower is the most important factor if you want to make progress. Willpower is indeed the key. The robot transmits an order sent by your brain to your muscles, but which these are not able to execute because of faulty connections in the nervous system. And the brain generates the intentions, and these intentions are the very small bioelectrical signals transmitted to, uh, through the spinal cord and the motor nerve and finally drives the muscles. Very, very faint bioelectrical signals are detected on the surface of the skin. The robot systems uses these signals as an intention signal. That's where Hal's efficiency becomes obvious. By repeatedly reactivating weak or destroyed nervous connections, it has eventually helped Masahuro take his own steps, this time without the help of a robot.